Welcome back. Here we are, ready to play some 10 minute games, as we normally do. Um, normally I try to play Central File Rook, although I have been sucked into playing other openings lately. I'm guessing I'll probably end up playing Opposing Rook, just because that's how this ends up going way too often, but, you know, we'll start. I don't know. I'll continue trying for Central Foul Rook, but we probably aren't going to get it. Also, if our opponent plays Swinging Rook, I might believe do something else. Good luck. Okay. Um... Interesting. Um... Okay, so here, let me play fourth foul rook. It's been a long time since we've done this. Um, let's get the king out of dodge. And can I push this immediately? Maybe, but it's not well motivated. There's no need for me to rush here. So now they prevent me from pushing this pawn immediately. Um, and that's fine. I've got constructive moves I can play. Oh. I didn't realize we were doing this. Are we doing this? You can't seriously be pushing this. That would be special. Um. Hmm. All right, so I can... There's things I can do here. If I push this... Well, no, I can't push the pawn. Um, if I block my bishop, that makes it harder for them to... Well, no, they could use the silver to hit this. Uh... I don't know. This catches my fancy. I don't have a great explanation why, other than they just have not completed their castle, and they're playing right hand fourth foul rook, and it just looks interesting. Um, so, yeah, my knight and bishop can aim at this point. They can't move their bishop, their gold where the rook is at. And... Um... <laughs> Okay, let's push this to give my king some room. But otherwise... Uh, yeah, I know my gold general there is a bit of a target to their rook. Okay, they've... They've picked a fight with us here. Um, this is bizarre. In part because of my moves. Hopefully not entirely because of my moves. Um. Hmm. If I push this silver, bad stuff happens. Lots of bad stuff happens. All right. So what do we do? Let's try to keep this silver away from our camp. So, they build a more solid castle. Um, I'm tempting fate here. There's too much to read, and our opponent's playing instantly each move. So, yeah, I'm starting to not take their play so seriously. Um... Yeah, they complete their castle, and it's my turn. And I lack an obvious move. Well, I mean, 
I'm threatening to advance my knight here. It's not great at all. Okay. I didn't think we'd end up here. Um, this is super bizarre. They allow me to exchange knights in a position where I could really use a knight. So we exchange knights. And if I take with the silver, I'm pinned twice, but I should still look at it, even though it looks insane. Uh, if I exchange bishops, my position's amazing. Um, if I can successfully exchange them. Oh no, my position's just fine. It's nothing amazing if that exchange happens. It looked quite good at first. Um... Hmm. I have many loose pieces here. The best way to not have a loose piece is to do the, this sort of exchange. And this way I can deal with threats one at a time. I have a knight drop threat that hits the silver and this pawn. I have a bishop drop threat that hits this rook and this lance. They have this obvious attack, which I can just run away from. And it was this move that convinced me it was go okay to go into this variation. Um... So I think this is acceptable. Unless I've missed something. Mm -hmm. They promote. Still, this looks fine. Yeah, it's complicated, but I think it's playable. Sure. They don't have to go along with my idea. I get that. Um. Maybe this is too aggressive. Yeah, I, I might have overpressed here. I don't know. I do like that my bishop's on excellent diagonal. I don't like that their rook is probably going to get to promote, but I have a good castle to fight against the dragon, so... It's not entirely clear where this goes. If they do attack my rook, uh, I oh wait, I'm not even hanging the bishop. I was willing to like sack material if I had to, but I don't think I have to. Um. What a mess. Okay, this is probably not a good move on my part, but 
Again, my opponent keeps moving instantly, so what can I do? Probably horse takes pawn is complicated. This didn't look as complicated to me. Although, they do have a threat if they push this. They can put a knight where the pawn currently is. And that is complicated. Um, <laughs> do I want a knight? Um, Sampun. All right. You'll get your wish, and I'll get mine. And things will somehow work out. Yes, no, you're right. I seem to be doing that quite a lot here. Um, that, yeah, that's... Since I'm playing random openings, this happens quite easily, doesn't it? Um, and it would behoove me to not do that so much. Uh, so yeah, if I were to, like, play more solid openings, then this would not be as much of a problem. On the other hand, when I do get out of it, man, my attack looks nice. Um... Hang on, let's not take right away. On the other other hand, my opponent is rated 2Q. So there is some expectation that I should not be getting pummeled like this. Um, Hmm, I'm being dumb. I had better moves earlier. Which I did not play. Um, no, actually, I can take this. This is fine. Oh, it doesn't work the way I thought it was working. Um, they didn't play the move I expected either.
Man, I'm, I'm playing so poorly. This is not great. Uh, shit. Sanjibio. Um. Blind doesn't begin to characterize my play. <laughs> oh my goodness, this is horrendous. Should the night takes. Should a night takes. Should have surrounded the king. It's too late. Thanks for the game. All right, next game, here we go.
There's multiple reasons for my mistakes. Good luck. One of which is strategic. Whoa, okay, that's cool. Okay, sure. Yeah, I can elaborate more after the video as to like what else is going on here. Because it's not just purely a matter of what openings I play. There's something more to this. There's a hole right there, which admits a bishop. Hmm. Interesting. Um, I should have seen that. We're just going to activate this bishop. Um, now it's active. So this game time is not the issue anymore. This game the issue is that I play just a litany of horrendous moves. Um, and our opponent did some good sane responses to what I played. And yeah, that's that. I promise I'm not being vindictive or anything like that here. I was legitimately trying to play a good game. I'm just not playing well. On the other hand, we did get to see like if this idea holds water. And while it might hold some water, it doesn't hold a whole lot of it. So at some point they're going to bring the knight out, they'll drop a pawn, and you know, we'll get our face melted off. Um... Since they're able to push this pawn, I'm a bit concerned about doing anything too aggressive with this silver. Oh, if I retreat, uh, is that terrible? In general, retreating's bad. Here, it's not much better to retreat. Let's attack. Oh. I missed that. I was looking, but I missed it. Um, Alright, sure. It's just an exchange. So now they've got a silver. Hmm. 
Wait, is that effective? How effective is that? If I give them a knight, how fucked am I? If I don't give them a knight, this position sucks, so we're gonna trade the knight first. I'm not giving up this horse for that rook. Oh. Yeah, that's a good way to use a knight. Very creative. Um. Hmm. Fine. I guess we'll fight back this way. If they advance the knight, I strike directly at the rook and hope that I have something. Good old Hope Shogi. If they bring the knight out here, I can't drop my silver here. Um, I mean, I could spend some Tempe bringing the horse through this square. It just takes time. Hmm, if I don't move the rook, they're going to attack it. I don't know that I should be alarmed about that. Okay, you can attack my rook if I can attack yours. That's fair, right? Okay, I think that's fair. We've successfully made things ever so slightly more confusing for them. Um, my silver's playing around. We'll remove the knight. Um, not optimistic about my chances here. Although, if I break this up, then a rook drop here does not seem to be easily met. I thought they'd have an easy way to counter it, but I'm not seeing one. So I just might be very lucky today. I could drop the rook, promote it, and then have two dragons, a dragon horse and a Dragon King. Um, well, wouldn't I be lucky? Well, show me what I missed. Oh, this freaking silver is like minuscule on my display. Still, I can bring both of my knights. Okay, we didn't go there. Instead, I get a lance. We live to fight another day. Uh, they attack my gold. Gofun. There goes the lance. Yeah, faded to play defense. Okay. Um. I don't want to burn a tempo here. Okay, they even defend this. That just to annoy me. That's impressive. How do I use my dragon? It 
It's not obvious. Okay, I have an out-of-the-box idea. We're gonna have the dragon reunite with the horse. And what is the most convoluted attack ever? Um... Someone's dragon is hanging. I've got a loose dragon. They've got a loose dra- oh. Yeah, that would hang my dragon, wouldn't it? Uh, well. See, even my backup backup plan is defeated. That's something. something. Alright, so what's my backup 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 plan? Um, I guess we actually try to use the horse. Like, that's gonna work. Sacking the dragon might be the best use of it, just given the way things are going here. Um, what is this? I don't understand. Okay, take my lance. What are you going to do with the lance? I'm going to take your lance. There, that's fair, right? What am I going to do with the lance? I'm just... I don't know what to do. We're going to exchange pieces here. And exchange pieces here. And they walk directly into this fork, which they didn't have to allow. But they allowed it. And that was our plan. Was to set the trap. And wait for them to fall headfirst into Nathan. it. And, and we put the lance back down. And do it again. Welcome to Shogi Wars. No, oh, I'm not bitter. Why would I be bitter? <laughs> You're bitter. <sighs> Can't believe we're doing this. Uh. I could have just taken this, couldn't I? Coulda, shoulda, woulda. Alright, fine. Are they going to take my pawn? Is that where we're at now? Oh, they should block my dragon. I knew that. Um... Fine. Fine, I'll take all your pieces. You talk me into it.
Thanks for the beer. Alright, let's play one more. Good luck. A 10q who plays bishop exchange. What does this 10q opponent do against this one? Um, I'm just surprised to see a player that plays bishop exchange frequently. Um, so the fact that like it says 10q but also plays bishop exchange suggests to me like they probably have a pretty good idea how to play bishop exchange. Um, and also they're probably not... they're probably quickly ascending the ranks from 10q. Um, let's make use of this before I forget to. Uh, interesting. If I post this rook, they're all going to block. Oh, and then I can block the block. It's fine. Hopefully I don't die by playing this. Hopefully. Um, yeah, because a rook and a gold would be nice to attack with. And so we've got a gold general, and we might be able to get a rook. Note if they do bring the rook over, I can just promote this and then take this later. Actually no, the rook promotion's not a mate threat because this protects that. Hmm. Alright. Ah, technically it was Bishop Exchange climbing silver. Oh, that's what it said on the message. It very quickly moved by. Uh, Bishop Exchange climbing silver that's cool um interesting i say as like i am out of my element in more ways than one there finally i get to touch my glass of water Although I could touch that between games, too. Yeah, so... Um, if they do try to block this line, I could be able to drop a pawn here. Or even a gold here. If I drop a pawn, they could move the rook over and that threatens to promote it. And I've blocked my own rook, so I don't want to do that. But if they drop something here... Like, if it's uh, silver and it's valuable, I might want to try to win the silver. Um, not even a gold drop would fork the rook and the silver, so yeah, hello. Um, but the silver could actually do some damage to my rook, even... Yeah, okay. 
I I really expected them to just snap my rook immediately and not think too deeply about it. Um, but maybe there's a lot to consider here. Maybe my king's in more peril than I think. To be clear, I don't think enough about these things in general, so... Um... So if I try to build Cozy Castle, well, first of all, can I mate? Rook drop, they do something like rook drop. Gold, gold takes silver, uh, bishop takes silver drop, silver takes gold. It's not mate. Um, but while I'm doing all that, they can form some pretty serious threats against my king. Um, hmm. I don't know whether to spend one move trying to run out of this or not. I think one move to try to escape is worth it. More than one, probably not. Now, either way, they're just going to drop the rook and take this gold, though. So if I commit to moving the king once, I'm committing to moving it twice. Unless I play this up, but then they drop a silver here. But after they've dropped the silver, they don't have a second silver, so I can drop my gold here, collect that. Um. Hmm. But then they drop a rook here, and my gold's hanging. There's no easy way out. No, if they drop the rook, I just defend this point. Just defend it, I say, as if it's going to be easy. Yeah, it's time for me to start my attack. Um, and by starting my attack, yeah, this simplifies things, because now they don't have that piece to drop. Since they don't have that piece to drop, now I just have to make sure I don't get rook dropped into oblivion. Um... I think this covers the available rook drop. Um, just in general, I have this history of blindness and walking into bad things, so I'm terrified of the rook drop. I can't think rationally about it right now. I just want it gone, so I don't have to think about it. So it's just panic on my part. Um, that's why not. Hmm. Oh, it cost me a knight. Oh, yeah, I could have won a knight had I calmed down. Yeah, no, you're right. <laughs> Plus a tempo, in addition to all those other things. Um, plus I haven't even defended Go against through. the rook drop adequately.
see, I've made my life more difficult um, in ways that I don't yet appreciate, but soon might. don't understand that. Oh. Wait, though they're trying to sacrifice the pawn to well but i don't have to take with the oh fuck i missed that i missed like this zero move tactic of them being able to place the rook that's not even a tactic it's just they can do that now um That doesn't defend it. Well, maybe it does. What the hell is going on? More and more blindness. And maybe a bit of angst that just the timer keeps ticking. I missed mate in one. Thanks for the game. All right. Well, those are our three games for today. Um, so congratulations to our opponent who promotes on that game. Uh, yeah, like I suspected, they're fairly new on the site and quickly rising. So well done on their part. Um, yeah, I'm sure there will be many things for me to learn from these games. So hope you enjoyed that, and see you next time.